Um, I'm back. Um, this is Dash Show Roads here. I'm back. I I I had to I had to um, redo this video. I think I kind of messed up the messed up the video a little bit, so I'm gonna redo it here. I only got into two minutes of the video, so I'm good. Um, but I'm gonna be reviewing um, more Blue Sky films. Um, I'm almost done with Blue Sky. Next will be Pixar. Um, Pixar will be next, so um, hope you guys are looking forward to Pixar. It'll be right after Blue Sky. So um yes, and and this is this is the um this film here I'm gonna be reviewing um I have not seen it in years and that was in the theaters so I'm gonna be reviewing this one semi blind I came in this one pretty much semi blind now the next two films I have not seen at all period I've seen people talk about them but I don't know much about the films at all that are coming up next so so that's pretty interesting. So that's definitely a pretty interesting, I must say, and, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be reviewing them after, you know, this film, of course, I have to, I'm going in order, so you guys know, so, uh, yes. So I'm gonna be, um, you know, reviewing these, these, um, films, and, um, most of them I have definitely seen, some of them I, on the journey I've not seen yet at all, and the next two films are gonna be on the list of not seen, so, those will be completely blind to going through them when I watch them. Um, but um, anywho, um, before I get any further, please hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, let's see if we can get to 110 subs soon. I will really appreciate that. Without further ado, though, let's let's get into the video, okay? All right. Meteors. Meteors are very dangerous objects. Meteors have caused the dinosaurs to die after all, but meteors are very dangerous space objects that come from the sky. And, um, and they, they, ha they have caused quite a bit of damage um, on our planet in the past. And I guess Ice Age decided to do this concept by um, doing the same thing, but with dinos with, with Ice Age animals this time. So um, th there's no more, you know, dinosaurs. But I guess they, they talked about how they relocated down and, uh, uh, underneath or something. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna be talking about about this movie though, and um, and I turned the music down a little bit so. It was at 53, I turned it down a little bit so that way you guys can hear me and I can hear myself. Because with the music being loud, it's hard for me to think. But yes, I'm going to be talking about this Ice Age movie, Continent, I mean not Continent, Collision Course. Sorry, I spoke wrong there. Um, this movie, this movie is definitely the worst of the Ice Age movies. If you don't count Adventures of Buck Wild, of course. That movie freaking sucks. I can't even watch a reaction to that. At least with this movie, yeah, I hated watching reactions to this because I didn't like the movie too much, but at least I was able to, you know, to find some entertaining stuff, which I'll be talking about here. Um, yeah, with, with Winters of Buck Wild, there was freaking nothing to, great about it, so, um... Yeah, um... But I'm going to be talking about um, this movie here, and this movie definitely is not very good. It's definitely bad. Um, yeah, we're, it's going into a bad. Um, the reason why it's bad and, and not like meh or some or good, I, it, it, it's because of the, um, the, the story. The freaking story sucks in this movie. It sucks. Basically, they, they, they basically are ripping off all the previous movies in this one. But they're ripping off all the previous movies in in, in, in this, you know, movie. So like for example, um Scrat is at the the beginning of the movie and and although there are some different gags, you know, with him, they basically re repeat the same thing as the fourth Ice, Ice Age movie, where, like, he, instead of destroying the continents, he destroys, you know, the, the planets. 
And I guess apparently he destroyed. He's the reason why Mars has no life on it. So Scrat literally killed everyone on Mars. That's kind of dark. I mean, it's 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 really dark actually for Scrat to do that. Yeah, this movie is definitely not very good. I don't really like this movie too much. Now, I, I should probably talk about, you know, more than just, you know, it ripping off, you know, stuff why I hate this movie. Um, but but I think I'll, I'll finish talking about this real quick, and then I'll talk about that. Um, yes, it does rip off quite a bit of stuff. It also rips off freaking Manny being overprotected with his daughter, just like the fourth movie, and... And man, Manny and Ellie are both freaking unlikable jackasses in this movie. They're freaking unlikable. They really are. They're really unlikable. I do not like... I do not like Ellie and, and Manny in this movie. They're freaking... Like, there's like one, one segment where freaking Manny is like doing an evil laugh and I'm um, smiling evilly and... Like, trying to get, you know, Peaches and, and, um, and this mammoth away, which I forgot his name. I don't, I don't like him. I think his name's Julian, I think. Um, actually, I don't think his name's Julian. I don't remember his name. I forgot. He freaking sucks, too, by the way. He sucks. Um, he sucks. But I'll get to him in a second. I want to finish talking about, like, Manny and Ellie. Yes, Manny and Ellie are freaking unlikable jackasses in this freaking movie. They really are. Because basically Ma Manny Ma Manny is Manny is trying to, you know, like is trying to t take Peaches away from her crush and freaking Ellie is trying to trying to keep them together and stuff, forcing them to stay with them. It's just freaking unnecessary bullshit. It really is. It's freaking unnecessary. I shouldn't probably, st sorry if I said that, I didn't mean to say it like that. But yeah, it's freaking unnecessary. And um, here's the thing, though, is it, it just feels like Manny's really out of character. Yes, in the fourth movie, he was overprotected, but he should have freaking learned his lesson in this movie. He should have learned his lesson. But yeah, he should have lear learned his lesson, and, and yet he's... He's worse than he was in the last movie. The last movie, it only focused on it for the freaking beginning of the movie. Here, it's freaking focusing on it non-stop throughout the entire film. And, and, and let's, not, let's, not, let's not forget about, about, you know, let's not forget about um, the, the anniversary thing. Yes, apparently it's, it's Ellie and, and Manny's anniversary. But, but they do this freaking trope. You know, a lot of people ha hate the, um, the the liar reveal tropes. I hate this trope more in cartoons. Where they freaking have an anniversary and the freaking husband, husband, you know, forgets the anniversary and, um, but forgets the anniversary and, you know, they, they're, all, they're, they're in the wrong here because they forgot the anniversary. So what? People forget things all the time. It's very hard to remember things sometimes. And the fact that, that like, I, I, I don't blame Manny for lying to Ellie about it. Because, because you know, by, by, you know, with the fireworks and stuff, I don't mind him, you know, lying, lying to her about it. Because, because everyone was freaking getting mad at Manny for, you know, for forgetting Ellie's anniversary. When people probably do that all the time, because, let's, let's face it, remembering things is hard. Especially when you're when you're the leader of the herd. Um, I think he's the leader of the herd. I think, trying trying to protect you know, people and stuff. So yeah, I, I really hate 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 Manny and Ellie in this movie. I freaking hate them so much. And, and you know, and let, let's let's not forget to Julian. Julian is in this movie too. If you don't know who Julian is, he is he is you know um. He is basically Peaches' um, you know, crush. And God, he acts like he's freaking on ca on caffeine. Like, literally acts like he's on freaking caffeine throughout the entire movie. He's like, bro this, bro that. He's freaking, like, walking. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I agree with Manny. I'm not supposed to agree with Manny, but I do. 
You know, he's kind of a freaking annoying character, because he is. He's freaking annoying. And he doesn't he doesn't have any personality. He really doesn't. He really he just exists for gags. That's all he exists for. He has no personality. Besides, you know, be, being, you know, Peach's, you know, crush. That's all he exists for. And it's a shame because but they could they could have they could have made him more of a character. At this point, you know what? I, I gotta take that back about the fourth four film. I, I miss I miss the I miss the the, the, uh, the other characters, the other mammoths. I, I think they were much better. Sure, they they were freaking you know generic teenage you know or te bat teenagers that got into trouble, but but they were still you know a lot more better than, than this mammoth. You know honestly, this mammoth this guy has no no personality at all. He just exists just to be funny. That's all he exists for. That's the problem there. That's the, that's the biggest problem. And um, and, and the thing thing is too is is a lot a lot of characters were pushed to the side too. On um, some were not even in this film. Like Lewis, remember Lewis from the from the um fourth movie who may had had a crush on on Ellie. I mean Ellie. I mean Peaches. Well, he's gone. He's no letter to, nowhere to seen to be seen in this movie. He's gone. So they completely, they completely just, um, they completely just, you know, um, just, you know, tossed him to the side and completely removed him from the film. And other characters were not, although in the, in the movie, some of them were, were barely on screen, like, like, Granny, Granny, because Granny was one of the highlights of, of the, um, she's, she was one of the hi highlights of, of the, um, you know, uh, of the, um, you know, fourth movie. She's one of the highlights. Although she had some stupid liners here and there, she still was funny. And here she's kind of pushed it to the side. And so is C Sierra, or whatever her name is. I think her name's called... I, I think you pronounce her name, Sierra. Diego's crush? He's, he's She's barely on screen at all. I, I completely forgot she was even in the freaking movie because she barely speaks at all. And she... And she barely appears, but apparently she's at the climax at the end where they push the meteor into the volcano. Well, the crystals, I should say. So, so I mean, I, I don't know, though. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a score here. And, um, and the score is going to be 34 points. Now, 34 points may may, sa may sound, you know, very high for this film. Well, that's that's the thing. Th this film is definitely frustrating. It is. But it's also got me laughing, too, at the same time. Basically, Buck returns from this movie. That's what the highlights are. That's the cons. Um, I mean, the, the cons, the, pr the pros of the movie. Um, um, Buck returns, and, he, and he's, he's really funny. I really like him in this movie. He's really funny. I think he's enjoyable, and he's really funny. I think he's really good, a really good character. I like him. I do like Buck, and um, there are some jokes I I did laugh at when, like when 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 um you know D D Diego and and you know um and T and C Sarah whatever her name is I Sierra I think her name is. I kind of forgot her na her name, uh, something like that. I think it's I'll just call her Sierra. Um, basically, her and Diego are like trying to make be friends with these kids, and they scream and, and they're like smiling. It's really funny. I laughed at that. Um, but overall, the, the 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 bad outweighs the good. And this film would have got a meh if it weren't for for Manny and, and freaking Ellie. Ellie and Manny are horrible characters in this film. They're horrible people. Or animals, I should say. People, animals, I don't even know what you want to call them. But, yeah, they, they're horrible people. And, I mean, even even Sid, you know, Sid's got, you know, I think Sid's even good in this film, too. But, yeah, Sid, Sid's kind of got pushed a little bit to the side, too. He's still, he's still got 
in the film, but I don't feel like he's got a whole lot to do with the film. This film is, you might as well call this Ice Age movie, like, Ma 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 Manny and, and, um, and Ellie controlling Peach's life, because that's basically what the film freaking is. It's, it's just them trying to control Peach's life and not let her move out. Like, please, just freaking let her move away, because we don't need all these characters. We don't need all of them. And, um, and I, I'm just like, it's just frustrating because I, I don't, I don't, I don't like seeing Manny like this. Manny, you know, I know Manny's kind of a, kind of a grump throughout the entire franchise, but, but here they go way too far. For, like I said, they try to make him la like laugh, like psychotically when, you know, he's, when he's trying to get rid of, you know, rid of, you know, um, of, you know, Peach's, you know, boyfriend. It's just freaking frustrating to watch. I, I know Julian is not, not a great character. He's freaking, again, he only exists, he exists just to be funny. And like I said, at this point, I, I missed the freaking man, three mammoths. Well, I mean, I, mean, I missed the, the four mammoths fr fr from the, 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 the fourth film. But I don't know, though. I don't know. I, I just think it's just 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 stupid that they, that they did this. They should have gave him more of a character and stuff. And and I gotta say, there are some other things I do like about the film too. Like I said, I do like the, the. I gotta say, the animation's really good. At times, it can be a bit too bright. Like the, I think it just they, they, the characters are just way too bright. But most of the time, it's really good. I like the the, the purple effect. With the with the um you know electricity and stuff that's pretty good too. But overall, all um you know. Overall, you know, you know Manny and Ellie completely ruined this film. They completely ruined it, and it's just a shame because this film could have been a pass for me if it weren't for Ellie and Manny being in there. It's just they had to make them, you know, frustrating characters and stuff. Like, like just, just let Peach, Peach just move out. I know that's a very hard thing for a parent to do, but, but just let them move out. Let them grow up, you know. You can't just hold your your kids hostage forever, you know. It doesn't work like that. Well, it does, but you, you can't do that. That's wrong. And overall, like, I, I don't know, I just... I don't know. I I just think there there's just more more bad things than good about these this film, and it it, it does get it, it does get a high bad. It's it was really close to getting a mad, but of course you know like, like I said, Manny and Ellie had to ruin the film and make it bad. So uh, yeah, like even even if all the other problems of the of the film were fixed, but but their problem. It still would ruin the film because they, they were the biggest problem with the film. And now you could argue again there's too many characters to, to balance off of. But still, I mean... Still, it's not like it's, you know, really, really bad. Because a lot of characters are still existing stuff. Even though some of them, you know... Like I said, some of them, you know... Like, got basically pushed to the side, or they got basically, you know, like, well, pushed to the side, like, Sira, or, or, um, you know, I think her name's Shira, actually. It's Shira, not Sira. It's Shira, sorry. Shira. Get pushed to the side, like, Shira, or, or get completely removed from the franchise, like, um, like, Lewis. So, yeah, it's just a shame. It's just a shame, you know, that, that this film, you know, didn't do very... Did pretty bad, you know. I don't think I don't think it suffered because it ran out of ideas. Well, it kind of did. I mean, they by by the, by the fifth film they started copying, you know, a lot of ideas from the older films. They started copying like the world destruction thing, and you know, ma you know, scrap, you know, causing destruct the one causing destruction, causing you know destruction, and, and there was you know, that then then there was you know. Uh, other things too that that caused destruction. Well, 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 I mean, other problems with the film too. Like, 
Another problem I had with the film was, you know, it just, um, it, it, you know, they repeated the concept with Manny, you know, trying to protect his daughter and stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot of problems with this film. There really is. And um, I do think it's gorgeous. It's really a really pretty film. And, um, and also, I guess Sid, you know, now needs a girlfriend, too, because, you know, that's what that's what it's about. I mean... The first trailer to this film um, back in the day, I, I even double checked to make sure. Um, um, the, the trailer is not on the DVD I have. I actually had to watch it on. Um, I actually had to watch it on. Um, on you know the um, you know on YouTube, and I found out that yes, it was true. Um, originally, they were gonna put in they put in the first trailer that. Um, that Sid was, you know, um, that Sid, you know, wanted to have a girlfriend too, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, um, but, I mean, Brooke's a, Brooke's a good character, I like Brooke, I like, I like Brooke and, and Sierra, the problem is, is there's just too many characters to, in the film now, and I'm glad they, they, they ended it off at Ice Five. Unfortunately, unfortunately, freaking Disney decided to make a sixth one, and now they're making a seventh one, I hear. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how well that turns out. So, uh, yeah, it's just a shame, you know, that that freak, you know, that, that, you know, Ice Age can't die, it's gotta keep going and stuff. I mean, a TV show is fine and all, but we don't need another movie to this. Now, I gotta say, I do, I do like it. I do like, you know, like this picture here I chose for Young Granny. I I am um you know I picked that picture because I like Young Granny in the movie too. Seeing her young form looks pretty good. I guess Granny um when she got older she went bald because she has hair again so I guess she went bald. I don't know though but yeah um. But yeah I don't know I don't have a lot to really say about this film I really don't um. I know it might have been went went all over the place, but there's really not a lot to talk about here. Um, well, I guess there is a lot to talk about, but kind of stuff I'm kind of just repeating myself at some this point. Um, now this is a fun fact. I had a f hard time finding one, but I did find one for this. Um, the fun fact is that this is one of the very few um movie franchises to get a fifth movie because most of the time um movies only get three to four films. So like Toy Story, um Shrek got got four films. But this is the first first well this is one of the one of the first, but the one one of the few, you know, you know, movies to actually get as a sequel to well, a fifth sequel. So well a four a fourth sequel I should say, because it's technically the fifth movie, but you know what I'm getting at. But yeah, basically though, I don't know if I have a lot else to really say about this. Um, I just think it just sucks that they're making more Ice Age movies without Blue Sky. And Blue Sky is gone, so now Disney, you know, again is making the, the one making the movies. So yeah, um, but I don't know. I'll sa I'll save that complaint when I'm done with the um, Blue Sky films. But um. For right now, let's go ahead and give this a comment question. I mean, a comment question, you know. I'm trying to think of one here. I, I guess uh, I don't really have a lot of a comment questions. Um, I guess my comment question here is, um, do you guys think think um, Collision Course is worse or Avengers of Buck Wild? Because I know that's not a movie made by Blue Sky, but... Um, but I don't know. I just want to know if you guys think it's um if, it, if it's a uh, a worse some um, you know movie than Collision Course or Collision Course is worse. Tell me you guys which what do you guys think in the comments below. Also, my throat is hurting. I need to probably stop right now. See you guys next time for um uh, for Blue Sky for um um. Um, that that one movie with the bull in it, the uh, Flynn. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but anywho, see you guys later. This is Dashaw Rose. Um, 
Have a wonderful day and see you guys next time. Hopefully I didn't miss anything because, um, yeah. Um, cause I'm, I'm gonna say this real quick before I let it go. Um, I didn't watch this film. I didn't, I watched this film last night. I probably should have done it, you know, today. So, from here on out, I'll, 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 really, I'll watch the film on the day I review it. So, what, rather if it's Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, I'll do it on the, th the day the film comes out. I mean, the day I watch the film. So, that way I can remember. Anywho, see you guys later. This is Dash Show Rose. Have a wonderful day and see you guys next time.